the topic is on joint probability distribution let's start introduction given two random variables that are defined on the same probability space the joint probability distribution is the corresponding probability distribution on all possible pairs of outputs the joint distribution can just as well be considered for any given number of random variables the joint distribution encodes the marginal distribution such as distribution of each of the individual random variables it also encodes the conditional probability distributions which deals with how the outputs of one random variable are distributed when given informa information on the outputs of the other random variable let's know about what is joint probability If a sample space consists of two events A and B which are not mutually exclusive then the probability of these events occurring jointly or simultaneously is called joint probability or uh, a joint probability in probability theory refers to the probability that two events will both occur in other words joint probability is the likelihood of two events occurring together Here next we can see example for joint probability that is rolling of dice. Next comes to mutual exclusive events. Mutual exclusive events are events that can cannot happen at the same time. For example, right and left hands hand turns even and odd number on dice winning and losing a game running and walking. here question comes why we need joint probability to determine whether two events are independent or dependent it is important to ask whether the outcome of one event would have an impact on outcome of other event if the outcome of one event does not affect of the outcome of the other event then the two events are independent by this joint probability came to know that whether the two events are independent or dependent next comes how to calculate joint probability of independent events to know that first we have to do to the joint probability of independent events we must first calculate the probability of each event individual after calculating individual probabilities multiply the independent event probabilities together to get the joint probability these are the two procedure to calculate the independent events here we can see some applications of joint probability where we can use jo joint probability in that to calculate extreme sea level computations to separate determination of the frequency distributions of tidal and surge levels based on only relatively short periods of data can be recombined to give the probabilities of both high and low extreme sea levels the results compare well estimates based on much longer periods of data by traditional method of annual maxima the technique presented allows optimum use of the limited data normally available at particular site but demands a better observational accuracy and greater diligence in data processing practical estimates are obtained from only one year of data results expressed as probabilities are converted to return periods a concept commonly used in engineering design totally we can calculate a level, total level of water by using joint probability another application on flood estimation recent research on the joint probability approach to design flood estimation the studies in relation to practical applicability of the joint probability approach to design flood estimation here two more analytical attempts are made to estimate the flood probability distribution with the methodology by two scientists that the, they are lacobellis and florentino in 2000 they made assume that probability distribution of conditional probability and is related to the 
probability distribution of the rainfall depth occurring in duration equal to characteristics of response time these they are made in that window form layout optimization problem using joint probability distribution